And joining us now are two of the doctors who treated victims on Saturday. Dr. Lenny Weiss is the Pittsburgh EMS medical director. He was among the first to arrive here on the scene Saturday morning. And Dr. Alexander Castro is an ER surgeon at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, Presbyterian. Doctors, good morning to both of you. Good morning. Dr. Weiss, you were here so early and so soon because this is your neighborhood. Well, what was it like to come here and see what you saw? I uh, still can't even get over what it looks like now, uh, let alone uh, that morning. I was actually in bed having worked late uh, the night before, uh, and I heard a lot of noise that I thought was construction and immediately recognized automatic gunfire. I heard yelling that was not uh, recognizable as anything you'd hear in a neighborhood on a Saturday morning either. So I jumped up, uh, tried to figure out what was going on. I knew if I didn't find out, my phone would probably be ringing soon. Um, we have a physician response program, so I called into dispatch to see if there was um, an actual uh, staging area established, and they indicated there was, and there was an event occurring. And you came right here, treated some of the wounded, as I understand it? So I was uh, in our command post initially. The scene was not secure for a long time. We had to establish a safe way to get people in. Was your heart racing? It was racing, yeah. I. Uh, I was nervous for my neighbors, for myself, for my family, for our community, and, uh, but I knew I just had to do the job that I normally do, working with our city uh, and our paramedics. And um, the police officers and tactical medics established the scene uh, very efficiently. And obviously there's a trauma center somewhat nearby. Dr. Castro, you're a trauma surgeon. What did you see on Saturday? So on Saturday, you know, we had been in communication uh, with the physicians that were on scene. And, you know, as I'm an emergency medicine physician, and as our job, our job is very important that we prepare the department for a mass casualty event like this. We do have drills that we do, and we prepare for things like this. Can anything prepare Nothing you for prepare something like this? this? It's the emotional stress. It's the, in, the unknown of knowing you know, how many patients are going to come in, the severity of the injuries. And, um, you know, we were able to gather a wonderful team together um, of more than 50 individuals uh, at, in, with an instant's notice. I've been here just a short time, but I can already feel the pride that people in Pittsburgh feel about this community, how tight it is. And this just must break your hearts. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're used to uh, such a calm environment. Uh, happy and friendly people, diverse. And uh, what's really tough is you see these events happening all over the country and the world, and we, we don't know uh, if it's gonna happen, we wanna know when it's going to happen, and that's very sad. And uh, we're unfortunately prepared, but um, once you have to spring into that action, it's almost a disappointment that we had to do this. But I'm very proud at the response from our medics, police officers, and uh, the rest of our public safety department. There were a lot of heroics here on Saturday, Dr. Weiss and Dr. Castro, and you were among them. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks you. for being here.